Okay, today I will be showing you how to make an iPhone icon using Illustrator. You can use Photoshop if you want to, but today I'm using Illustrator because it's vector and I can zoom it up and down if I need to and I will not lose quality. So, okay, and remember this is for beginners. So if you're not that good at using paint brushes and masking and different forms of layers and stuff, don't worry this is the video for you and it's really fast and easy well it depends on the person if you know some things are easy for some and some things are hard for others yes okay now we're gonna come over here to Illustrator I already have this set up and you can use Photoshop if you want don't get me wrong okay now what you're gonna wanna do is get your um, fill color that you want any random color I had chose orange or yellow whatever it is orange orange yellow i call it the orange or something like that i don't know let me stop <laughs> then you want to come over here to your rectangle tool hold it down come over here to your rounded rectangle tool and you're going to place down rectangle just like that now you're going to come over here and name this whatever you want and you're going to come over to a rectangle tool one more time, come down to ellipse, and now you're going to come over here to the color, the fill color, and set that to white. And now, ooh, wait, my bad. <laughs> I forgot you have to um, take off the, yeah, let me just do that, okay. Come over here to the ellipse tool, because you got to make sure you unselect what will select it before you start messing with the colors here that was a big uh oh okay now you come over here to your gradient and you're going to change this this right here to fade to white see that fade to white and now you're going to come over your rectangle just like this with a um oval and set it just like that see what this setting it to white see what setting it to white did it allowed it to be transparent the white feel color or the fade to white i guess so i don't know i just like to keep it to white whatever but now we're going you see how the white is like over here a little we're going to fix that now you're going to come over here to gradient tool right over here where my mouse is at and you're going to click up here above the um the um what is it? what's the what am i trying to say um oval and you're going to bring it down and what this is going to do is is going to bring that white color down right along with it and fix it up. It's going to line it up right here. It's going to line it up. And now we're going to come to opacity and we're going to bring that down just a little. I don't like it. It's a little bit too high. Um, let's see if this is good enough. Ooh, wait, let me. Yeah, that's pretty good. First, let's bring this down just a little bit more. There we go. I like it. Now we're going to highlight it and we're going to come over here to, I'm not highlight, we're going to select it. That's what I meant to say. Come over here to effects, come down to stylize, come, o ooh, come over to inner glow. Don't forget to hit preview. I always forget to hit that. And we're going to change our color to like a lightest, lightish orangish color. Now we're going to set this to opacity to 100 and set this to, let's see, uh, what are we looking for? Yeah, that's good. Right about there. 26 is good. I like that. We're going to set that to 26. And now what we just did is we made it like seem as if it's glowing. Now, that wasn't that hard, was it? That, that was rather easy to create. But let's just bring that opacity down just on this um for me that is you don't have to you can do this however you want if something doesn't look right to you you fix it okay and yeah that looks that looks really nice and see this is all for beginners and any beginner who knows about AI could do this themselves and now we're gonna lock this layer and we're gonna create another layer right here create another one. click it come over here to text we want to change this to our fill to white right there we changed it back to white gonna set our text to let's see 
You can put anything you want. You can put your... Ooh, let me... It just changed to black because I hit sex, I believe. But you could change your fill color to... I mean, not fill color. What am I saying? Well, <laughs> you can... You can put any kind of words that you want in here. The possibilities are endless. You can um, put your... You can make this into your YouTube icon if you want. You can do anything that you want with this. But make sure to save before you make your new file. When you make your new icon, if you want to make an icon. You click new and you set these to 88 by 88. You see, that's what I... Well, that's what I would do if I was making an icon for YouTube. But I'm not. So I had them set to 500 to 500. And... Yeah, make sure it's an R R B G. I mean R G B red, green, blue. That's what it stands for in pixels. So let's get out of that. And let's just fix this up. Now, wouldn't you say that looks pretty good for something that you thought was very difficult? And this here was for was for all the beginners. This is a beginner's thing. I mean, pretty much anyone could do it. I mean, yeah, it's a little hard for some, but if you can't do this, then I don't know. I mean, it's pretty easy. Let's just size it up. Gotta love vector. Oops. I was moving it over there. Let's just move it over some. Get a get a way better look at this thing. Yeah. It's perfect. Oops. <laughs> the letters. Yeah. And I'm going to export this and probably put this inside the video or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, you could play with this up here too if you want. So you give yourself like a half wave effect or something. You can move it around, just giving you some ideas. There we go, we're gonna tilt it to the side. Yeah, like that, that looks really nice. So yeah. See, that was very easy, and you could change this color to anything. You don't have to have the same colors as I have here. And, yeah, so you can do this with Photoshop, and I will do another tutorial on how to make that, like, background I made on um, my YouTube account. So, yeah, I hope this was helpful. And this was just for beginners anyone you know there's other things you can do with this you could put you can mask like different kinds of like brushes in here and stuff all kinds of stuff that'll be another tutorial for the more advanced um, users and you could use bezels and stuff for this and make it look like it's inside but for now this looks pretty darn neat wouldn't you say so yeah so if you like this kind of stuff, you could comment. I mean, not comment. You could rate, comment, and subscribe. And I would subscribe if I were you. Let me stop baffling. Hey, if you like what we did today, you can subscribe to my channel. We will have plenty of more tutorials like this. We will play in Photoshop, Illustrator, again, Flash, all kinds of programs I have here. And we will have fun. So yeah, I hope you liked the tutorial, and it was a beginner's tutorial for you guys, and I hope it wasn't too difficult, and if you have any feedback that you would like to give to me, just drop me a comment or anything. So, see ya. Devin the Geek out.